Did you watch Tucker yesterday with uh, Tony Bublinski, the guest he had on? No, I've seen take the outtakes from it, but I didn't watch the whole show. What, what's your reaction with the story of Tony coming out with the partnership of Hunter? I know you went into it briefly earlier when I was asking you about Bezos and CNN, but w- what are your thoughts about it? And why is it that no one's covering it? It's like almost saying, I heard somebody say the other day, I think it was on 60 Minutes or one of the hosts said, well, we won't cover it because everything is speculation, nothing. We don't cover stories like this if, it's, if it isn't 100%. What are your thoughts about what we're seeing with Tony and uh, Hunter Biden? Well, first, that comment's a lie. They spent three and a half years covering a Russian story about Trump that turned out to be totally f- false. Uh, both the New York Times and the Washington Post got Pulitzer Prizes for covering lies, which uh, they never to return the prizes, but the, their entire prize was based on lies. So if you're on the left, you can do anything you want to and they'll protect you. If you're on the right, they can smear you and claim that it's good journalism. Uh, let's, let's just start with, with, with honesty. Um, Second, I, I just did a 30-minute video, uh, which is available at Gingrich 360, uh, on the, the Biden family corruption. And uh, I think I outline it with quotes and with video and lay the whole thing out. It's much more than Hunter. It's, it's, a, it's a family business. It's his two uncles. It's his father. Uh, and they were just out going around the planet scooping up money. Uh, clearly a blatant uh, violation of public trust. Uh, and and, uh, and it's an astonishing story. It involves hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, this is not some small, you know, jaywalking problem. Um, I, I have seen excerpts from Boblinski. Uh, you know, he was a naval officer. He has a good reputation. We have some mutual friends who think very highly of him. Uh, but again, you have, what you have is the entire establishment, uh, Twitter, Facebook, um, all the major media are like they're like a, they're like a Greek phalanx. They're all lined up to protect Biden, and so they they want to make sure that the bunny in the basement is safe while they go and attack the bear. Uh, and that's what this race is all about. Do you think the world's dangerous and we need a bear? In which case, Donald Trump's a pretty good candidate. Or do you think that Donald Trump is the problem and we could really survive as a country? With a bunny rabbit as our president, as our president, which I think is just laughable, impossible, and and I'm very interested to see how people vote next week because I think the yeah. more we watch Biden, you know, things like referring to uh, Kamala Harris's wife, which he did yesterday, or the day before referring twice to George when he meant Donald Trump, or announcing he was running for the Senate three or four days ago. I mean, every, the more you watch Biden, the more you know uh, this is not a guy who is really ready for prime time.